Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. We are now officially in 2019. It is the new year <laughs> and this is also our 75th unboxing video. Mm. Do you have any feelings about that? It's a big number. It's, a big number. it's the quarter quell. <laughs> Someone has to die. On that sad note, I'm Amber. Uh, I'm Eliza and we have a few kids things and then a bunch of adult things and we'll go through them pretty quickly. Starting with another PJ Mask Easy Reader. Always a good place to start. And Dogman Brawl oh of the Wild. Dave Pilkey. I'm engaging by her reaction that this is exciting. <laughs> so exciting. In our house, this is like the most exciting. We love Dogman. New? New. It's, like, it's the new one in the series. Such a good series. Nothing Stopped Sophie, the story of unshakable mathematician Sophie Germain. I'd like to see how they make this interesting it looks like it looks on the cover like they're like Whoa. it looks like math is like a walk in the park and it's yeah. so fun like I guess there's numbers there yeah I, I mean it's a story about a mathematician so uh, it's nice illustrations i bet it will be exciting i like math okay. oh i forgot there's one dvd so get ready for Bad Times at the El Royale, which I, even though I'm a seldom a watcher of movies, I actually really want to see this one because it has so many cool people and it just looks really weird. It has Jeff Bridges and John Hamm and Chris Hemsworth, Dakota Johnson, and it is about a strange motel right on the edge of the, in Lake Tahoe. It's right. I, I saw the movie in theaters. Oh, you saw it? Okay, you can speak good. to it. It, was it good. is. It's really, like, weird. It's one of those movies that once you see it, you're good. You don't have to see it again. Mm. It was just really interesting. It's a little... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's rated R yeah. for a good reason. For all the things. For all the things. <laughs> um, but it's just, like... Yeah, it's strange. I recommend it. <laughs> Uh, a Monk's Guide to Clean House and Mind. It's a tiny little book. It's very timely because this is the time of year when people think about those things. So interesting. There's a bit about clothes, ironing, guest rooms, yeah. how to clean the bathroom. Oh my goodness. I am so really strange. curious to look at this and see what the monk says about how to clean the bathroom. And like comfortable ways of doing it. That's what it looked like he was talking about. <laughs> And here's another uh, timely book for the new year is Love for Imperfect Things, as we are all imperfect, and How to Accept Yourself in a World Striving for Perfection. Hmm. Everyone's striving for perfection except me. Yeah, no, I'm not either. No, no so it's not going to <laughs> Stuart Woods, A Delicate Touch. Big name. Mm -hmm. It'll go out soon. No. Okay, Tammy Hoyt, The Boy. Uh -huh. Another big best selling author. Preston and Child versus For the Dead. It just looks so serious on the back cover. They do. Yeah. It's a Pendergast novel. <laughs> Uh, Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield, who's another popular author, but not in that same like thriller category. Mm. She wrote The Thirteenth Tale like five years ago, a while ago, and it's sort of a slightly like more literary side. This one, it said, s says, three girls missing, one is returned, a story begins. Oh, and it sounds like it's a little bit, there's like the puzzle solving, and then there's also like the, like, is it a magic, is it not magic folklore thing. So what, the fact that it says one is returned instead of one returned. Right. That's true. I don't know. Uh, that sounds like something I will definitely uh, start, try. Well, you can tell yeah. me how it is. I don't okay. think maybe it's a little too much for me. <laughs> uh, the General's Cook by Raman Ganeshram. And it looks like, oh, it's a, it's historical. It's Philadelphia, 1973. Um, and it's, it's about President Washington's cook. Yes. Yeah, that says it all. It's fiction. And we fooled you. The last one is actually a kid's book. And it's called Quiet by Tommy DePaolo. I really like this cover. I like this cover. I really like Tommy DePaolo. I love his, his style of art. And um, I like the title. Something we always wish our kids would be. 
not visualize. At least for a few is. minutes. Are there words on this one? Yeah, there are words. It's like a story. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> well, no, that's, I mean, sometimes they're you know wordless, I mean. but I really, I like it when there's a story. There's so much blank space. I think I it's a story tell. about sort of being quiet. I like it. I like it too. Okay. Empty box. That was a fast one. Happy New Bye. Year.